conditions. This is a little bit stronger storm up in central Wilkes County, just south of downtown Washington, uh, downtown Washington. That's 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts and maybe even some pea sized hail. And those are going to be the type threats we do see with storms over the next couple of hours. Heavy rain, lightning, maybe some strong wind gusts at times, and maybe even some of the, those smaller hailstones embedded in some of the stronger ones. And the reason why we have all these ingredients to produce these showers and storms is thanks to this cold front moving through the region. This is what's going to keep those rain chances in play through tonight, kind of similar to what we saw last night. If you are up late with us at 11 o'clock to midnight, we did have some good thunderstorms out there, likely going to see a similar setup again through tonight. So a heads up for any evening plans you have for tomorrow. We are going to unfortunately hang on to rain chances, so this is going to be a very slow moving cold front, not going to completely move out until we get to late into our Thursday uh, night. So you can see those rain chances really at any point during the day on Thursday. As far as temperatures go, we're going to wake up upper 60s tomorrow morning. Afternoon highs should be a little bit cooler than today, but we're really going to start noticing lower humidity, drier conditions heading into Friday. That's when our morning temps will be just a couple degrees cooler for us, and high temps actually look to stay in the upper 70s and low 80s Friday afternoon. So watch out for the wet weather this evening into tonight up until around midnight. By tomorrow morning, we do look mostly dry, but you can see our wind direction now changing out of the northeast. So that's going to be the backdoor cold front that could set off a morning shower, looking more likely to see maybe a pop up shower storm in the afternoon afternoon though and you can see as far as temperatures go tomorrow uh, anywhere from the uh, mid to low 80s for most spots and then heading into our Friday. That's when skies finally start to clear. We get that good steady northeast wind and that will keep our temperatures below average Friday afternoon. We have border bash Friday evening. Also arts in the heart starting Friday night football games looks picture perfect for all those events. We're going to have mostly clear skies, comfortable temperatures and low humidity is going to be the biggest benefit. And then by Saturday morning, a few spots getting down into the 50s. So even cooler start to the weekend. Now, as we head a little bit later into the weekend forecast by Sunday, we do bring back some rain chances. So any outdoor play in Sunday, try to get them in relatively early. All right, thanks, Riley. When it comes to therapy, many of us think about the stereotypical laying down.